along the way. But first I got to get myself straight now. Come on somebody. Amen, amen. I want to just lift up Jesus. I do give honor to this most gracious pastor here tonight. I'm a man of God. Amen. Pastor J.C. Sanders, I love you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to come and grace your pulpit on tonight. Amen. I thank God who's already here before we got here. Amen. I thank God for Reverend Franklin coming on tonight. Amen. Amen. You don't never know who's going to show up. Amen. With God. Look out there. Look at God. Amen. I thank God for my husband on tonight. Amen. Amen. My friend, my partner. Amen. Amen. My lover. Praise God. Amen. He's everything. Amen. Outside of God. Amen. He next to it. Somebody tell God thank you. Amen. Amen. 
my brother in Christ. Amen. Who we walk hand in hand with. Amen. Been doing it. Amen. Even before we got to walking by faith. Amen. So we ain't no stranger to one another. Amen. To evangelist God. God bless you. Praise God. Reverend Jackson. Praise God. To the man of God. Amen. To our drummer. Get a drummer, sir. Amen. But when I was talking about mama, mama was telling us that she's 90 years old. Right there. Right there. Right there. My mama would say, I ain't complaining. I'm just, I'm just explaining. I said, that'll preach right there. Come on, Jesus. I need every bit of help I can get. To my classmate, God bless you. I love you. Amen. We've been to school together for many years. Hallelujah. I thank God. Amen. Amen. We grow old together. Amen. To the people back there, God bless you. Amen. To all of you mothers, God bless you on tonight. To Sister Debbie, to the youth. Amen. Amen. God bless all of you. Amen. To us and God bless you. God, everybody. Brother, oh God. I don't want to leave nobody. Else. Come on, Jesus, because he sent us all here tonight. Amen. And I believe if he sent us, he sent us with a word. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I want you to go with me to Isaiah, the 57th chapter, right verses 15. Yeah. Isaiah 57, right. verse 15. When you have it, stand on your feet because I believe in reverence. The Lord, amen, through his word. Amen, amen. At least we can do it good, can't we? Amen. Isaiah 57 and 15. That's the Old Testament. And then after that, we're going to travel over to the New Testament. Acts of the Apostle, amen, chapter 28, amen, verses 3 and Four. Come on, somebody. Amen. Three, four, and five. When you have it, just shout, I got it. For thus said the high and lofty one that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the hearts of the contrite one. Somebody tell God thank you. Amen. Amen. We know who dwells in the high places. Come on, somebody. Uh, he inhabits the praises of his people. As we look at Acts the 28th chapter, verses 3 through 5. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks mm -hmm. and laid them on the fire, there came a vapor out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on to his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom, though he has escaped the sea, Yet vengeance suffered not to live. And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Amen. If I was to use a topic for the night, it would be shake it off. All right. Shake it off. And move forward. Amen. Shake it off and move forward. Let us pray. 
I will turn it all wise, Father. We come now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Yeah. Father, for no other purpose but to give you glory, to give you honor, to give you praise, God. I ask you to let Elma sit down, God. Let me decrease and allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to increase. Let me say nothing of myself, but Father, in the name of Jesus, that your people might be blessed through your word tonight. God, that we will be revived even the more to move forward in such a time as this. Father, if there's anything that's hanging on to us is not you God Father we ask you now in the name of Jesus to allow us to shake it off and move forward and God we give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus name we pray amen 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 you may be seated in the presence of the almighty God shake it off and move forward I'm always trying to look for a theological <laughs> Uh, stories that help to relate to the message that God has given unto us that we can real rationalize and we can think, amen, to put it in an earthly perspective with a heavenly meaning. Amen. So as I was studying, I came across, amen, this uh, theological sin that was talking about, amen, a donkey or a mule, amen, that had fell down, praise God, in a whole way. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. Every once in a while in our life, we fall down in some things. Uh, amen. But you gotta tell somebody to shake it off uh, and move forward. Uh, amen. Duncan was falling into the abandoned well. Amen. The well was really deep. Amen. He could not get out of the well. Amen. He started hollering. You know how Duncan would do. Amen. Trying to get his owner's attention. Amen. 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 The owner didn't come for a long time. But that didn't stop the Duncan from yelling. Amen. God may not show up when you want him to do. But don't you stop he kept right on calling. Finally, his master showed up. Amen. It's just like you and I praying. Amen. They said he may not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Come on, somebody. Amen. It said the farmer came. Amen. And the donkey thought that since his master had gotten there, amen, everything was going to be all right. But that was the master in the natural. How many of you know he didn't need a supernatural divine faith? Oh God, every once in a while, when we talk about being revived, we need a supernatural faith of oh God. We need to be revived all over again. Sometimes our vigor will run out. Sometimes our stamina will get a little low about these things that happen in our lives. It ain't nothing that you've done, but they just happen because you the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. But well, I'm so glad. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm so glad that Jesus came, that I might have life and have it more abundantly. Have you got any help yet? Have you got any persistence to say, come on, Jesus. Come on and see about me. I need to be rejuvenated. It's all you don't come all the way down from February, January, March, and look like you won't go make it with just a few people coming in. But look what God has done. The church is still alive. The church is still crying. The church is still up. And God led me to it. David, David, David. I encourage pastors, don't give up. You might fall in a bad way where nobody ain't been in a long, long time. But if you just keep calling on the name of the one to hide, lock and lift up, he'll come. I said he will come to your rescue. Oh, yes, he will. Come on, somebody. Sometimes you just got to close your eyes and say, Lord, it's still 
like a pastor just like me. And the other pastor can tell you more what a life. Oh my God. But see, we won't hide ourselves. We will hide by God. And one job you don't want to get fired from is the job that God gave you. Come on, somebody. See, you got to make your election sure. Come on, somebody. You got to lift them up if you don't feel like lifting them up. You got to give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. You got to praise the name. You need somebody to help lift you up. Come on, somebody. I'm going way down. But if I get somebody to help lift me up, come on somebody. And then I get another one to come to me and say, help me lift up me. Oh, hallelujah. What a difference we can make with our brain. The devil gets me. But this junkie didn't have nobody. Bad and well. Mm. All by himself. In the natural. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you know, I had some incidents and I had two. Uh, amen. It looked like we were abandoned and thrown uh, away. But God uh, was still right there. Uh, and y'all get the picture. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, shake it off uh, and move forward. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, I'm moving forward. Uh, the chain uh, the Christ. Uh, every round uh, go higher uh, and higher. Uh, I don't want to have to go back around in my tent no more. He said, have faith in God. He believed in God. Believes also in me. He said, I'm going away and prepare a place for you. And I go and prepare a place. I'm coming again to receive you of myself. You ain't by yourself. Come on, somebody. We ain't even love ourselves. Have I got in the body? Just say, Lord, I thank you. We ain't by myself. I thank you. Just when I pray to God, hallelujah. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. So fuck off of me. Down in the way, <laughs> the way people do, they yeah. look at you and wag their tails huh? and say, "Look at here, <laughs> you down there and you can't get out." <laughs> so let me call some of my friends. Huh? Come on, somebody, <laughs> and we gonna look at you together huh? until you die. <laughs> Come on, somebody, <laughs> but the Lord reserve. Huh? He won't let you fall. Huh? Somebody say, "Yeah." Huh? But God gon' use and gon' turn it around for His good. Hallelujah! Because He gets the glory. Anybody in here tonight just wanna give Him some praise? Right, thank you, thank you. So the man got some of his friends. Come on, somebody. And they could walk them together. And they start looking at the donkey down in the hole. I said, well, the only thing I can tell you to do is just throw some dirt on it. After a while, come on, somebody. He's going to die from suffocation. But God said, I come that you might have life and have it Hallelujah. And so, uh, 
and Duncan was still in the natural. And that's what happened to most Christians. We always in the natural. Saying, Lord, why me? Why did it happen to me? I thought I was good. I thought you and I had a good relationship. So why me? But you got to remember that God gave his only begotten son. And he said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. He had to shake it off. So as they were going dirty, oh, this ducky, the ducky got the realization from a spiritual aspect. And said, I got to shake it off. Every time they throw more dirt, the ducky. When the enemy throws you, God said to you, Come on, somebody, you gotta shake it off. Shake it off with the blood of Jesus. Look wide and move forward and give him gold. I get him mad. They don't say that, but I get him mad in the spiritual realm. Then God will give God some glory. How do I know that? Because the dirt was under his foot. Come on, somebody. Every time they put it down, the devil never back. But the devil didn't know that God had another plan. I'm telling you today, he got another plan for our lives. He got another plan for our children. He got another plan for our church folks. He got another chance. Amen. To give us and let us know why. I thank you through all I'm going through. I still got joy. Don't let the devil. Feel no praise. You can put those situations under your feet and shake them off. And the bound, oh God, will bring you higher and higher. And you'll walk out of that dry well. Just like that Johnny did. And look around. And he won't go in the pit. Come on, somebody. Get wrecked. 
it's going to break up. But if you just hold on uh, with broken pieces, uh, you see, Christians, uh, in these brothers' times, uh, we got to hold on uh, to our broken pieces. Uh, the lady told us the other day, uh, said, Yo, rope, uh, and you all the way down to the end of it, uh, just take a knot in it uh, and hold tight. Uh, hold tight to Jesus. Uh, I said, I won't let go. I won't let go. He took me by the hand, and I won't let go. Revival, revival, revival. It's for us to reflect how God works. And when you think of his goodness, his mercy, his grace, Oh my God. You ain't sure what the devil are trying to do. Come on, somebody. What you say, Pastor? You can't touch this. Y'all thought, amen, when a man was singing that song, he was just singing a song. But when you really in the Lord, and you know what you know, that you know that Jesus Christ is well, can't touch this. Come on, somebody. So you got to shake it off. Shake it off. And move forward. Yes. And here Paul now. That I got shipwrecked. <laughs> Come on the side of an island. That they ain't never been to before. Uh, where the barbarians live. You see God has taken us in some places. That we ain't never been in before. Somebody ain't never heard the word of God. But if you walk down and I walk down. Pray to God with my situation. Glory Glory to God. They ain't going to be talking. And looking, looking at you like you're crazy. But Paul said, look at here. I told y'all, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Just hold on to the broken pieces. And said, when they were escaped, they knew the island was called Melita or Malta. Amen. About 60 miles from Sicily. Amen. Amen. On the other side was the excellent harbors. Amen. But they didn't know nothing about this side. But God sent him in unfamiliar Hallelujah. territory. Yes, sir. And the people showed them much kindness. I'll tell you the truth. I'm telling you something now what God knows. So people don't hardly show you much kindness no more. Come on, somebody. They don't hardly show you. They say, ah, that happened to you. Might happen to me today. <laughs> but tomorrow you don't know what's going to happen. Come on, somebody. You get sick. They can't even call you to pray for them. Before they tell you what's wrong with them, you don't start listing your stuff. But God said there's a greater one on the inside. Come on, somebody. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all that he ain't got no problem, that he came out. I'm shaking it off. And I'm moving. Forward. Huh? Yes, you see, these people that didn't even know nothing about kindness huh? showed them kindness huh? and they built the fire. Huh? Amen. Because they felt huh? and they knew they were wet. Huh? Amen. And they were cold. Huh? We see the cold rains huh? that come through the earth now. Huh? Hallelujah. People are out on the streets. Huh? Amen. And nobody won't let them in huh? to get warm. Huh? But what I love about Paul, huh? come on, somebody. Huh? Paul being the chief, uh, amen, did not uh, sit back uh, and let the people do the work. Uh, amen, it's a great thing uh, if you got a pastor that works. Uh, come on, somebody uh, that ain't scared uh, to get the hand dirty. Uh, somebody just shake it off. Uh, that ain't scared uh, to burn some midnight oil uh, and say, God help uh, get in their situations. Uh, that ain't scared uh, to answer the phone. Uh, because they think somebody will call them. They need to ask them for the prayer. They ain't got to have to say it all. Amen. But they will pick up that phone and say, This is who I am. It don't make no difference when you call me. Just call me. Because I can call Jesus. And in the time this word, you can call me. People will call you. Because they can't get their pastors to pray for them. So they're going to call somebody they know. That's going to relate to their situation. Come on, somebody. Go pray for them. 
Shake off your attitude. Shake off your arrogant city. Huh? Shake it off and ain't about your time. Come on, somebody. It's his. So Paul got up wet and cold and began to pick up some sticks. Hey, Amen. And you know how that old snake is, that creepy lion and slimy serpent. Hey, Amen. He'll stay right there huh? till the heat get hot. Huh? I like what you said, Pastor. Hide. Now, come on, somebody. Now, why? Yeah, that, that Paul was the one that picked him up. Why wasn't that Paul? How God know that Paul got out of the ditch? Come on, somebody. He don't put no more on you than you can make. Come on, somebody. You gotta put your big boy pants on, your big girl pants on, and say, my God, I live. And the God, I die. Shake me off. Shake me off. Shake me off. Shake me off. But I thank God for redeeming me. Come on, somebody. So as Paul began to put the bombers on the fire uh, that came out uh, of Bible out of the heat, uh, he'll turn the heat up on you uh, and then latched on uh, to Paul's hand. Uh, and when the barbarians saw uh, amen, the venom of bees uh, hanging on uh, to his hand, uh, they said among themselves, uh, no doubt this man uh, is a murderer uh, who thought he had escaped the sea. Uh, Guess what? The seed that killed him. Uh, but now this building with snake going to kill them. God will send some things your way. The people will look and say, that's going to kill them right now. All right, all right. That's going to kill them. This right here is going to kill them. Right. 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 They said, we ain't got to worry about them. They're going to make it. They're going to marry. They're going to children. They're going to talk. They're going to everything. Because this is going to kill me. You got to tell them the devil is alive. God, God that I see gave me the power and the strength to shake it off. Oh, y'all got it, man. Shake it off. Doctor, I told you you ain't gonna live for six months. Shake it off. Shake it off. Bills are due, and they tell you you don't pay it today, you won't have it tomorrow. Your children messed up on the floor. Shake it off. Everybody in the church got an attitude. Shake it off. If you can't get along with nobody, shake it off. 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 Even people know, hey, you ain't got no anointing. Because every time something comes your way, hey, man, you fall. Shake it off. Begin to see that he had swollen, but not swollen up. No fail dead. Suddenly, no harm come to him. Good grace. Right now. Woo! Woo! That's when you're going to really praise God right there. The minimum snake didn't kill you. Your deadly situation didn't kill you. Praise God, you were able to shake it off. Now you gotta revive praise. Come on, somebody. Now you can serve the Lord in the spirit of gladness. Come on, somebody. Now you can say it's well with my soul. Now you got anybody here when your minds fail you. Come on, somebody. But you said it's well in my soul when they left the church and they began to stab and fight and they called them backsliders and they tried to put a bad mark under the church. Say it out. God promised Paul that we were going to have safe passage to Rome. So none of these things can stop him for us driving safely to Rome. Amen. He said, you testified of me in Thank Jerusalem. Yes. And now I'm going to send you a little bit further yes. to testify of me in Rome. Yes. Our lives are in God's hands. Yes. Yes. 
and God still had work yes. for you and I to do, yes. just like he had Paul. Yes. Nothing can stop God's plan. Yes. Once you look at a neighbor and let that neighbor know, nothing, nothing. can stop God's plan. They will labor you. The seed don't use your things happen to you. But I want you to know nothing can stop God. This ain't no ordinary situation that you're dealing with. Paul. This is a vigilant, a vigilant, a treacherous, amen, situation. But you got to get fasting on him. And these people are both witness of it. But then when he didn't swell up, didn't fall out and die. And they looked on him a great while. Don't you know they're looking on you? Don't think they're just going to stop today. I tell everybody, don't expect nobody to say nothing good about you. If they didn't say anything good about Jesus, what made you think they're going to say something good about you? If you can take God's credit, take it off and move forward. Work in the favor that God has called you to do. Amen. Don't let your finances, your sickness, your family problem, your marital problem, your health problem, your job problem, your relationship problem, your people problem, your mental problem, amen, your neighborhood problem, your grocery problem, your unemployment problem, amen. Don't let nothing get in the front of you, praise God. Live a holy for him. Come on, somebody. Oh, you ain't going to die in your situation. Amen. You might swell up. Come on, sometimes. You might swell up. Amen. You might feel like you're going to die. But guess what? You're going wherever God said you were going. Amen. No wonder we are going to see a king. Hallelujah. Oh, what a king he is. Come on, somebody. No, you're a close time. Ain't nothing good going to be said. Well, he said, draw not to God, and he will draw not to you. Uh -huh. Cleanse your hands, you sin, and purify your hearts, you double man. Get rid of that double man. Lord, Don't let the devil play with your mind. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. God shook that creature, amen, into the fire. <laughs> Amen, Paul, and amen. That's what he's going to do to that real enemy one day. Yes, uh, he's going to shoot him and circle him and put him in the lake of fire. Uh, amen, where there's smoke. Uh, amen, coming up and suffer and darkness. Uh, amen, come on, ain't no way in. Uh, amen, everybody talking about heaven, but nobody don't want to talk about hell. Hell is real. So you going to shake it off? Yes. You're going to end up there. Yes. Paul was a witness. For Jesus the Christ. Uh -huh. He said, I'm determined not to know anything but oh, Jesus right. Christ. Uh -huh. Him crucified. Yeah, right That's what I stand today. I'm determined not to know none but Jesus Christ. Amen. Him crucified. Yeah, right. I'm determined not to know anything but what he did on that old rugged cross. Not only for me, but the whole world. Amen. He shook it off, y'all. They said, why don't you get yourself off that cross and then get us down? He shook it off, y'all. He shook it off. He shook it off. He shook it off because he said, I come to do the will of him that sent me. He come to do your will. Ain't step what y'all say. Because you let the devil you. Stop letting the devil use you. Shake him off. And let the devil know for God I live. And for God, I die. If you had to limp in the head, Come on. just limp right on your man. <laughs> if you had to go without a arm or eye, whatever you got to go with, I want you to know there's a new body waiting on you. Come on, somebody. It's called a glorified body. 
Lord. Oh, yeah, the way Jesus is. I'm going to rest from all my labor because I shook the world off. Come on, somebody. I have to steal away every once in a while to pray. Can I just talk about me? I can't talk about you. But let me tell you about him. I was a wretch undone living in a world of sin. But Jesus the Christ had to beat me up way down in the mire pit. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Lord knows I'm glad. He saw something in me that nobody else can see. He sees something in you that nobody else can see. He looked way down on the heart of me. He said, but you got to shave this stuff off. Shake off that lust for spirit. That lust for demon. That nine to nine demon. And put on the whole arm of Christ. Yes, sir. Shake it off. God sent his son through 42 generations just for old wretched sinners like us. Come on, somebody. Feel the rags. But he saved us, y'all. Take that oppression's gift. Don't let nobody cheat you out of your ugly home. If you want to go to hell, that's your place. But I choose heaven as my home. He rolls up with all power in his hand. Look back at death and said, Oh, death, what is your sin? Hey, glory be to God. He said, I shook it off. Oh, great, where is your victory? He said, I got the keys right here. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Can't nobody do nothing to you unless Jesus the Christ allowed it through God Almighty. So you can shake some stuff off the way. We revive tonight, y'all. Because we serve a Savior. You know what a Savior is. He's soon to come back. Looking for a church. Which is us without a spot or a wrinkle. I encourage you today to let nothing except the Holy Spirit and the Father and the Son stick to you. Study your word. Get a great relationship with God Almighty. And trust Him. Walk, walk, walk by faith. And not by sight. Not by sight. No, if He did it, we can do it too. Because Paul said we can do all things in Christ which can. You ain't the first one. And you certainly won't be the last one. We need a breakthrough, y'all. We need a breakthrough. We need a breakthrough. That breakthrough is through Jesus. The Christ. Yes, he's coming back. He's coming back. Real soon. They've been saying that for a long time. Some say he's slacking his promise. But he's not slack. What I love about him, he's giving those ones that have not yet given a lot to them time to get saved. So we ought to be a walking epistle each and every day of our life. Through Jesus the Christ. Don't get the big head. Come on, somebody. Think it's about you and your foe and no more. We are here to help one another. To serve in any capacity that God has called us and chosen us to be. We need a breakthrough. You got that vibe tonight. Come on, you can go a little bit further. You got rejuvenated tonight. Hey, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can wave your hand and say, God, here I am. I need a break. And watch your move on your way. Yes, we need a break for you. Lord, Lord.